students and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to talk about a couple of body systems. So we're going to start with the immune system. So technically, the immune system, the function of it is to protect and defend the body against invasions and pathogens. So the major organs, we have the spleen, the thymus, and the bone marrow. Pathogen, it's a biological agent that causes disease in its host. It can be a virus, bacteria, or a fungus, or a protest. Disease, any disruption of homeostasis which causes specific symptoms and can cause death if untreated or the immune system is unable to fight it off. Infectious agents such as virus. Virus strands of DNA or RNA wrapped in a protein coating. Invade a cell or inject their nucleic acid into a cell and then cause the cell to make more viruses rather than the cell's normal function. That will happen once we have COVID-19. Bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. Mostly harmless, but some can live and thrive and cause disease inside the body. Sometimes can be cured by antibiotics. Fungi, very few members of the fungi kingdom, can fertilize humans. The ones that can tend to attack the skin, but a few can invade inside the body. We have the protest, are eukaryotic and microscopic organisms that cause disease such as malaria, African sleeping sickness, or giardia. How do disease spread? By physical contact, skin-to-skin, -skin, exchange of bodily fluids, indirect contact, such as sneezing or coughing. That's why we tell you to put your hands on your mouth while you sneeze or cough. Immune system is to protect and defend the body against the pathogen made of a few smaller organs and white blood cells that those are called the little teeny tiny white soldiers. We have the lymph, which is an extracellular fluid that white blood cells can travel through. Spleen is an organ that filters bacteria and broken cells from the lymph. We have lymph nodes that are also filters. And how does the immune system work? There are two ways in which the immune system operates. We have that the immune system tries to keep everything out. So for example, skin mucus, cilia, tears, and stomach acid, or specific defenses, which means that fight of infection once a pathogen gets inside the body, so by the white blood cells. The immune response, if the pathogen gets inside anyway, there are things your body usually does to try to slow the invaders down. We have fever, raising or rising body temperature to help uh, Detenter the pathogen's proteins. Expand blood vessels can get to the infection site more quickly. This is called inflammation and it sometimes can be painful. Now, we're going to move to the reproductive system. The reproductive system, the function of it is to produce off offsprings. Males make sperms and female makes eggs. We have main parts, male, we have the testes, the penis, and female, we have the uterus, ovary, and vagina. So, what helps you do is the continuation of our species. It's working together. So, for example, we have movement that the interactions between the skeletal, muscular, and nervous system make movement possible. The skeletal muscle are attached to the bones of the skeleton and provides the force that allows them to move. Muscles contract, causing it to shorten and pull on the bones at which it is attached. So controlling body function, we have electrical signal, for example, from the nerves and chemical signals from the endocrine system. This is the nervous system and endocrine system. So nervous system, electrical impulses are the messengers in the nervous system and endocrine system. Hormones are the chemical messengers in the endocrine system that targets the cell throughout the bloodstream. Transporting materials, so for example, cells need oxygen delivered to them and carbon dioxide and waste to be removed. Blood vessels carry nutrients to cells and waste products away from cells via the circulatory system. So this is the human circulatory system transportation. 
And then we have the stimulus and response. So why animals and plants do what they do and a fancy way of saying